my beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where we are going to try out the full face of first impressions. I have I have everything here in front of me. Basically everything you need for a full face of uh, makeup. It is foundation, concealer, lip product, bronzer, highlighter, uh, blush, eyeshadows. We have this high tide palette from Colourpop so we are definitely doing something colorful today. I think I bought all of these products except two. Two of these things are sent to me in PR and the rest of them I bought myself and we're just gonna do a full face and we're gonna see how these are. If these are worth picking up. Because if you have not been here before, hello, my name is Angie. I am just still such a lover of beauty and makeup. I just love everything, everything and anything that's beauty related. So on my channel, we try out all the things so that you don't have to. I let you know which things are good, which things are bad. I'm especially in love with color. So if you wanna get some more inspiration of how to use color, maybe in your day-to-day -day life, please don't forget to subscribe because I upload five videos a week. I'm gonna do... I'm gonna try and zoom in a bit. I think I'm gonna try and zoom in a bit because I'm gonna try this face and body makeup by Soul Body. This is one of the two things that was sent to me as PR. The other thing that was sent to me as PR was the We Makeup New Liquid Liner, which we're gonna use towards the end of the video. I just wanted to let you know about that now so I don't forget. All the other things that I'm gonna be showing you here, I bought myself my own money. This was sent to me and I got two of the fair shades and two of the light shades. I don't know if I got all fair shades and all light shades. I'm not 100% sure how many shades they have, but this is a face and body makeup. And I said that I wasn't gonna be able to try this out because they sent me the lightest shades, but someone told me that these run a little dark. And I put that out on the of the like the packaging, and yes, this does seem to be my shade. I read up on this on the website and it doesn't 100% say what coverage this is. It just says that this is going to even out your skin tone with like light diffusing powder particles, that it's transfer proof, creamy light diffusing foundation, veils skin with a flawless... It says... Okay. Veils skin with a flawless, soft, matte finish, perfect for any complexion. Buildable, soft, focused pigments. It says even out, it says veil skin, it evens out skin. So I'm thinking that this is probably a light coverage. It's supposed to be transfer proof. I'm not going to be wearing it on my skin because I don't like body makeup, but I will be testing out and see if it's transfer proof on the skin. You know what? I'm going to wet a sponge. I'm going to zoom in and at the like end of the video, check back at the pin comment because I will leave a pin comment uh, where I will let you know the if I have any like further opinions about this product and in the pinned comment I will put whether or not I felt like this was transfer proof because I think I'm not gonna try and set this with powder but I will set the concealer with powder I think that will be a good one and even though this is a full face of first impressions I always do a like a monthly roundup reviews where I come back one month later and I let you know about all the things that I tried in the month before I let you know how I feel about them like a final verdict so this is just gonna be my initial thoughts but I will come back in about a month and I will let you know about like what I feel about these things because I always do those ranking from fail to holy grail where I'll let you know how I feel about this thing, because sometimes I change my mind. But let me wet a sponge, let me zoom in, and we can start with the foundation. Okay, this is in shade Light 8. And normally when I buy foundations, I try to buy something that is... This is how much I'm using. I try to buy something that is... Oh, wow, that is dark. I try to buy something that is marketed as a medium or a light. That is my dog. But this is pretty... The dark for be this is this is marketed as wow okay yes these definitely definitely run a little um a little dark so if you are buying this foundation I would say you know how they always buy like size up size down I would definitely say just buy one shade lighter than you normally do because this is definitely it's matching me and I have self tanner on so I would definitely say if I had bought this foundation I would probably have bought it in a warm medium shade but that would probably have been way way too dark for me so I'm happy whoever told me that these were running a little dark because yeah this is definitely a good shade for me and I feel like it's going on pretty skin like and it's definitely a light coverage because I still see my discoloration here and you still see the spots that I have here. So I'm gonna do another one, I would say equally as much as I had in the last one. And let's just even this out a little bit. 
doesn't really smell like anything. There's no perfume at least, it just smells like um, fresh ingredients. Actually, you know what? I am gonna be wearing glasses for the rest of the day uh, because I am a glass wearer. I feel like this is almost a tad too dark for me. Even though, like I said, this is a light and I normally wear medium foundations. Fascinating. But yeah, I'm gonna be wearing glasses for the rest of the day, so I will be able to see if I feel like this one transfers as much as glasses normally do because, you know, glasses usually really break up the foundation here. We're gonna see if this one is, is better at that than both foundations normally are. I feel like it's a very skin-like, like they said, like a soft matte finish and definitely a light coverage. But yeah, definitely surprisingly dark. Surprisingly dark. Not that it's like weird when I compare it to like my hands, but darker than I expected a light to be. Let's just put it like that, because look at the difference. Because I bought the concealer in this, this is the Kosas. Kosas, this had a weird name. Wait, I can't read without my glasses. The Revealer, and I bought this in 04N. Look at how light this is. <laughs> I bought this online, okay? Don't come for me. Maybe it's not that bad. Maybe it's not that bad. It's very creamy. I thought it was gonna be more liquidy. I still like bringing my concealer down because I have a pretty, not round face, I have a bit of a diamond shaped face, but I like to uh, accentuate the parts of my face that are like long, so I try to make my face look as long as possible. Maybe I'll do some spot concealer with a high coverage foundation to just try and cover up those red spots. I'm using the same sponge with this concealer. I've heard good things about this concealer, so I want to like it. I feel like it blended out really nice, even though it was definitely too light. I would say that this concealer is somewhat creamy. It's pretty thick and creamy, but it doesn't look goopy under my eyes. It was easy to blend out, and I would say it's like a medium a medium coverage. It honestly looks really nice. I like that. I am just gonna do a little spot concealing. I have the... I usually spot conceal with the Juvia's Place uh, foundation because it is so high coverage. So I'm just gonna take a very little... Oh, that is too light because this foundation is so dark. But I'll just go over with some of the uh, skin tint afterwards. I'm gonna put some of my normal powder under my eyes. I'm using the NYX uh, banana powder, the pressed one. I will link everything I'm using down below in case you're interested. I am gonna do a little powder under my eyes and some brows. Oh, but I am not gonna set my brows though because I am gonna be using the Brow MVP. Love that name. MVP is something that you use in gaming a lot and I love gaming. MVP is most valuable player. Obviously they use it a lot in sports as well, but you're the real MVP. You probably heard it, and if you didn't know, it is uh, for the most valuable player. So I'm gonna do my brows like I normally do it, and I'm gonna end with this one because I did look up instructions, and it said that you could either start with it or end with it, and I like ending with like brow setting products. I used a little lip liner as well. This is the Vive Velvet Sands. I really enjoy that one. I'm gonna do some setting spray. I have a pretty blurry lip line, so I like using a lip line to just define a bit, and I also like the overline a bit because I'm stuck in the 90s. Let me live. It's looking pretty matte on my skin, if I'm gonna be honest. Let's let's try the Fenty one. So it is like a wax on this side. I think that this might wanna be one of these products that works better for people that have, whoops, a lot of brows. And it's a little, like this is like soft rubber bristles. It's like a little Barbie comb. So what I think I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna, <laughs> I literally have no idea what I'm doing. Famous last words. I'm just applying some against the hairs. Yeah, I can definitely see, like I can see that there's some of the colors getting stuck on this one, but that's fine. That's inevitable. But I'm just applying some like this. And I'm putting it on the hairs and not on the skin. I'm just gonna roll this one in and let's use the Barbie comb. I'm just gonna brush 
upwards because that's what I like. How is this giving me the exact same effect as the Patrick Ta one, but with literally zero effort? Uh, oh, that's great. If this, if this sticks, if this sticks, this might be the best thing since smartphones. Impressed. Call me impressed. I'm gonna use, I'm just using the shaft on this one and I'm just gonna push them down to get them to really stick. It was my friend Maggie that told me that I should get this one, that she really loved it. And I do trust her opinions. We usually have somewhat similar tastes when it comes to makeup, but we also have very different brows. She usually does not fill her brows in because she has naturally like full bushy dark brows. So I was a little bit hesitant, but you know what? If these stay up, if these stay up, this is a win. I will put that in the pinned comment as well. Whether or not I felt like this product uh, held held its promise <laughs> throughout the day. Very impressed. I am gonna use this new MAC. This is the Luster Glass Lipsticks. I told you in my new makeup releases that I was very intrigued to be trying this out. It is the same MAC packaging as usual, but you can see that this one is a shiny instead of a matte packaging. Usually, not that it's matte. Let me see if I can show you the differences. Here they are. See, this is the new uh, Luster Glass lipstick. You see, it's very shiny. This is the normal MAC lipstick. It is like a semi-shiny. You can see this is glossy and this is like satin. And this is the one, these are called the uh, Powder Kiss. You can see that these are a soft mass, matte touch. So this is like the different packaging the MAC has with like their uh, regular line of lipsticks. So we're gonna try out this new uh, Luster Glass one. Let me just pick these back. And we are gonna see, I bought it in, because I love the name of this, it's called Thanks, it's MAC. I think it's glorious. It looks a bit like modesty, it's like a mauve nude on me, but not too light. Seems like my lips, but better, right? I think that my lips might have a little bit more uh, peach in them. But I felt like I didn't want to buy the same colors that I always buy. I'm like, listen. If I'm gonna buy more, if I'm gonna buy more blushes, lipsticks, lip liners, it needs to be something that's at least, at least a little bit different. Unless it's an orange. If it's an orange, I can't be held responsible. I need all the oranges. This goes on gloriously. It's lighter than I thought though. Maybe the lip liner is a little dark. I hate a super dark lip liner with a light inside. That's the part of the 90s that I just don't want back. I don't need that back. The 90s can keep it. It's very light. It goes on. It goes on like a lipstick, but it feels a little bit like a balm. It's very light and thin. It's not goopy or thick in any way. And I feel like I can build it up. Very pretty. It smells like a normal like MAC vanilla lipstick. I love how that looks. Wow. Isn't that so pretty and so comfortable and it went on so nice? MAC, you might have a hit on your hands. I actually have another MAC product to try as well because I bought uh, one of the products from the Botanic Panic collection. Oh, this one still has the plastic. I'm gonna use the bronzer from Vive. <laughs> Get off. This is the modern bronzer in medium. Oh, there is a plastic here. I'm actually gonna throw this one away now because I don't... Sometimes I tr like save the plastic just to show you that there is some protective. I feel like this is gonna be a good color. Like I said, this is medium and the foundation was a light. Is that not a little bit weird? Not weird, but like unexpected. Let's put it like that. So am I gonna... I think I'm gonna start with the light one. I'm gonna start bronzing with the light one. This is supposed to have like a bit of a, not luminous effect, but it's not meant to be a matte bronzer. I've had this for a little bit, but I haven't tried it because I've been so busy doing other things. And this is the main reason why I'm trying to buy less makeup in um, August, because I have so many video ideas and so many things that I want to film that doesn't necessarily include like new products. So I just really want to try the things I have. Wow, that's pretty. 
what a buildable, blendable, beautiful bronzer with like a natural, almost satin-like finish. That's, that's pretty. And this is me using the lightest of the medium shades so far. Goes on like a dream. I like putting some bronzer on my nose because I do get some tan on my nose. Not on my chin, but I like putting some bronzer under here. I feel like that is stunning. I'm gonna use a little bit of the darkest one. I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm just tapping in a little bit and I'm just gonna be using that a little bit to sculpt under my cheekbones. I personally love how that looks, but I love a visible bronzer, but I felt like that's really pretty. And since it was buildable, I feel like even someone that's darker than me could probably get a pretty good definition with this one. I mean, just based on how this one went on, I probably could have used the light one as well when it came to this one, because it was really like buildable, but not like too overly pigmented. I really like how that is looking. That's looking really, really good. Okay, so I bought the MAC Botanic Panic. This is the Extra Dimension Skin Finish, and I bought it in Royal Flush. These are... MAC is a bit funny sometimes because when these Extra Dimension Skin Finishes come in a bigger packaging, they market them as highlighters, and when they come in a smaller packaging, they market them as blush. So I thought this was a blush, but this is actually marketed as highlighter. So this is meant to be a highlighter on a deeper skin tone, but it is a little bit pink tone. So I actually bought it and the lighter one was actually sold out, but I bought this one. It's called uh, Royal Flush. I bought this to be used as a blush, but I'm gonna use a highlighter brush just to see how the formula is. But if you have a deeper skin tone, just know that this could be a nice uh, pink to gold highlighter on you probably because that is how it's meant to be used but I love using uh, colored highlighters as blushes because I love a super glowy cheek I know that some people are like no 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 it brings out texture but listen I love me a glowy pore I'll take a glowy pore any day of the week that is stunning love how that looks and it is such a glowy product that I can just drag it up and it's like a hybrid between a highlighter and like a a glowy blush hybrid and I love products like that. I think that that looks pretty even without using any other products on top of it. That looks stunning. Beautiful, beautiful formula. MAC usually does really good with the extra dimension um, skin finishes like this product for the skin. I have a couple of blushes in this formula. You can see that this is the blushes and you can see it's the same like pan size. Uh, this is the Extra Dimension, but this is called Extra Dimension Blush, and this is in just a pinch. But as you can see, they both have like a colored base. I also have it in this color, and these are a bit similar. This one is in Hushed Tone. The difference is that this one has a goldy sheen, and this one um, is more of a like a plum undertone with like a pinky sheen. Maybe not as much as a highlighter as this one is. But for me, this works as a blush, but just know that if you have a deeper skin tone, these are meant uh, as a highlighter for a deeper skin tone. I'm gonna need none of you to judge me for this next product. About the Huda Jesus palette. <laughs> Listen, I saw this in store and it is so pretty. I actually meant, I meant to buy the medium one, but then I accidentally bought the light one. But let me tell you, this looks so pretty. I'm not even mad about it because I honestly think that this one, I think I can use all of these shades. And that is what I love with a highlighter palette that's like meant for a skin tone. Instead of bringing something that's for fair to like deep skin tones, instead just bring out one light, one medium, one deep and just do shades because I can use all of these. And I think, I think I'm going to use this one though. Let's see how, how, let's see how like deep this is because honestly, the formula of this in store it looked so pretty. This picks up so beautiful. I love that it is less smaller packaging, but yeah, this is a bit cringy. But let's not look at that. Let's, let's just look at the pretty inside and let's not look at the, at the cringy packaging on the outside. Yeah, that's really pretty. I'm, I'm using it pretty lightly, but now I'm packing on. Yeah, that is... Oh. I don't see any glitter particles. Uh, I am using this one in the corner, the peachy one. 
this is as pretty as I thought it was going to be in store. Again, Maggie had tried this one and she said the formula was beautiful. She was not lying. So even though the packaging is absolutely cringy and even though Highlight the Palettes has been done to death, I will say this one is at least smart because it's four shades that you can use for your skin tone and the medium and the deep one looked amazing as well. It has a little mirror. It's a smaller packaging. It makes more sense. So I will say... I did say some harsh words about this first in my new makeup releases, but I'm going to be honest, th this is pretty bomb and I love the size. I thought that this was the big size. I'm using some of the, the darker shade now. I thought that this was the big size, but it's not. Um, so, okay. This is a good release. I take back what I said. This is a good release. I will say the brows are still looking good, but, but they are not... They're not staying up. They're not staying up. So if you're the kind of person that just want your brows to like lay down and just not be like flying around, this could be for you. But if you're the kind of person that wants your brow hairs to stand up a bit, I don't know if this product's gonna be for you. I have something itching me here. Anyways, I put on some of the uh, Juvia's Place eye primer in number one because we are gonna be playing with the High Tide palette. Can I just say, of course I can, who's gonna stop me? Who's gonna stop you, huh? Who's gonna stop me? I was gonna say fight me, but please don't. I'm so weak. <laughs> don't fight me. But this palette, it's so pretty. This is a monochromatic palette done right. It goes from light to dark. It has shimmers, it has mattes. Even this matte with shimmer here, there's a light one. I like this because I can use this as a lip color and in the corner highlight and I don't mind when there's shimmer in here then. It is... It, it, this is nice. This is a smart monochromatic palette and it is the cardboard packaging with the beautiful... Some of these details are raised and some of these are metallic. The packaging is just stunning. None of these have eye safety warning. I don't care about eye safety warnings when it comes to pigments because usually that only means that for me that it stains my eyelids sometimes. Most of the time it doesn't even stain my eyelids. What I do care about is glitters. I don't want glitters but this doesn't have any pressed glitters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take... How am I gonna... Look, love that I haven't thought this through even, even a little bit. Am I just gonna do, I think I'm gonna do, this is a Refer 27 with one of my long hairs on it. I think I'm gonna start with this one to not make it too, yeah, I'm gonna start with this one. It's called Flora. I love how I literally went in with this not having a single idea. Picked up beautifully. Did I say that this is a Refer 27? I don't know. Wow, that's so pretty. It does produce a little kick up in the pan. I don't really care about that. That usually means that it's just easy to pick up with a brush. I don't care about that as long as it's pigment. What I care about is when there's a lot of fallout or a lot of kick up and it just, there's no pigment on the eye or there's like patchiness on the eye, like the subculture. Kick up doesn't bother me as long as it's not a, a part of a, a bigger problem. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put this in the crease as a started up shade. Wow, that's pretty. Do you see how good that went on? That is so pretty. I'm just gonna put this in the crease and I'm gonna put it under my eyes as well. Already I'm really liking this look. I've just used this one here. We are sticking to this more cool toned row. There is one more brighter green and one more well, this is also cool tone, but this is, I mean, they're all cool tone, but you get that this is a little bit more of the minty, minty leaning, and this is a little bit more like a sea foamy, almost grayish teal. So we're going to use this one, the lunar one, and I am going to deepen up with that one. Oh, it's the same. This one also has a lot of kick up in the pan, so be careful, and we are just going to deepen up with this one, and then I'm going to use this one the free floating which is the one up here in the corner which is the more again sea foamy grayish leaning teal metallic i'm gonna use that on the lid not doing anything advanced just testing out the quality and so far very very impressed it is a little little patchy here i don't know if you can see 
I don't know if that is me or if it's like the colors. Yeah, it could be the, that I went in too hard because now that I packed some more on, I think I just used to... Sometimes with like colors that are a bit harder to work with, which is like blues and greens, when you start blending too, too excitedly <laughs> in the middle of them, they can start getting a little patchy. So sometimes you just have to babysit these kind of colors a little bit to not make them patchy because they don't naturally blend into your skin tone because you don't have a teal a teal skin tone. I believe most of us though. Which I think I used too much over here. So when they start to get a little patchy, our skin color will peek through. But with some other colors like a yellow or a brown, it's not as visible when they become a little patchy because what's peeking through is something that actually matches with the color. I went a little crazy here, but when do I, when do I not go a little crazy with eyeshadows? But yeah, that could be me. So I'm just gonna blend in smaller in smaller portions and just be a bit smarter but it's looking really really nice but it's again very dramatic I, I can't help it i like dramatic makeup okay so this is free floating wow that's pretty you can see there's still a little bit of patchiness here it probably tells me that these shadows are not the kind of shadows that will build on each other forever which to be fair most shadows are not but I do prefer when you're able to deepen them up and build on them as much as you want to. It's just something for me to keep in mind. I can't stop myself from doing super dramatic eye makeup. You know me. Well, if you don't, well, now you know. I can't stop myself from making super dramatic eye makeup. I'm just putting this shimmer on and wow, that's pretty. Wow, that's pretty. I'm going to use a little bit more of the lunar one that is the, the deep teal. And I'm just going to put this on top to just have the light one on the inner part but I really like that I think that is super pretty wow that is a really nice uh, metallic shade I really like that I think I'm gonna do just the, the shadow that I showed you in the beginning that just a splash I think that these kind of matte with some glitter in them I oh I only use them as either inner corner highlights or lid shades and I feel like this will be a really good inner corner highlight. That is so pretty. Okay, yeah, I really like that. Isn't that so pretty? Big, big fan. So I'm gonna use some um, Neon Shockwave Liner from LA Girl in Fresh, which is this uh, like minty one. And let me finish up with some mascara. Oh, and I have some lashes. These are, these are the Novena lashes. I've used them once before. These are in So Hollywood, but um, this is like a second impression of them because I'm only going to use the top lashes this turn. So I did have a, quite a recent video. I think that was actually yesterday, me trying out the Novena shadows and the new ABH cream products for the first time. And I used these lashes and I also used the bottom lashes. But yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put on some mascara so you can see the look without some lashes. And then we can use those. Is that it? Have I used all the new things? Okay, I actually forgot that I was going to use this new eyeliner. This is the Wild Eyeliner Pen by Wee Makeup. So I haven't put on the mascara yet, but I forgot I was going to use this. This is a eyeliner pen with a brush tip applicator, which is something that I really love. Love the packaging, this like sky blue metallic. It has one of these that you can like shake. And we are just going to see how good this is. In making a line. Probably should not be talking. Okay. I feel like that's pretty good. It's very, very thin, very detailed. I'm doing a pretty dramatic uh, liner because I like that if I'm going to do a liner. But the liner is very, very thin and very detailed. So you could do like a tiny, tiny little wing with it because it's very, very detailed. 
But yeah, that's very impressive. Uh, we Makeup is an Italian in the brand, so if you're looking for a new eyeliner uh, that's like a brush tip applicator, I had to look, I'm like, yes, it is a brush tip applicator. It's very, very detailed. Maybe this could be for you. Okay, so this is what it looks like when I have the mascara and the liner on. Everything is on, just not the lashes. So I'm gonna put on, oh, here they are. I'm gonna put on the So Hollywood. I'm gonna take this bird's nest down and I'm gonna show you the finished look. And I'm gonna give you my initial thoughts on these products. I think I like everyone but one. Okay, all the makeup is on and I really do like this look. I really do like this look. The only thing I don't like is the brows. I don't feel like this is really helping with my long hairs that just want to lay down. Because I just want them to be up, but they just want to be down. <laughs> That's what he said. So this product, this product is probably better if you just want to, if you already have brows that are pretty much, the hairs are where you want them to be, you just want them to be still. Then I really liked it. It was easy to work with, but if you want to change the direction of your hairs, for me, this isn't strong enough. This isn't strong enough for me, but it still looked pretty on. I don't know, I will try and use it a bit more, of course, and just see how it goes, but I do need something that's stronger than this because this does leave your brows a little flexible. But if you like that, then this is a perfect product for that. If you just want to, you know, have some like softer wax in your brows, it was really easy to work with and I did like the, the little Barbie brush thing. All the other things, they look really pretty. I like the concealer, it looks really pretty, it hasn't creased at all, it looks really good. It looks natural because it's not like 100% full coverage, which is something that I like. So I have a feeling that this concealer is gonna be a big hit for me. And that is why I bought this concealer, because it seemed like a concealer that I would like, something that's more, it's better for me with a mature under eye, something that wouldn't crease, something that wouldn't look too cakey. I don't like a concealer that's full coverage. I very rarely use foundation that's full coverage. So I like a concealer that's more of a medium coverage. That's more my that's more my jam. So for me, this is really beautiful. The foundation, yeah, it's 100% set down. It just feels like skin. So I'm gonna wear it for the rest of the day. And I will, of course, before I give my final review on this product, I will, of course, be wearing it on like the skin as well, to really see if it works as a body foundation. Just don't want to do that today because I'm not leaving the apartment. I'm just gonna be sitting here playing World of Warcraft, so I don't want to be wearing body foundation. I think you understand. I think you understand. But I like everything. The cheek products are beautiful. The bronzer, the highlighter, the blush, what I used as a blush, which was also like a highlighter. Lip products, stunning. Eyeshadow, beautiful. It is a little, little patchy, but that could be user error. I will, of course, be using this more before I give my final uh, review. I still like the Lush Life palette more than I like this one, but it's definitely the good ColourPop formula. I think it's really beautiful. So yeah, these are my thoughts on the products. Was that everything? I think so. Let me know if you've tried any of these products down below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if there's something that you would like me to include in any of these videos in the future. I do have some products that I want to do a testing new products or just a get ready with me. I'm thinking about just doing a chatty get ready with me because I really want to talk about the fact that me and my husband finally booked our honeymoon. <laughs> it's over a year later and we finally have something booked for our honeymoon. I'm feeling very excited, so maybe I'll do a chat get ready with me uh, chatting about that if you're interested. But thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video, which is gonna be tomorrow. I hope you're having an amazing day, and bye!